Hello, this is Mike Panaki with Network Protocol Specialists. And in this video, we're going to take a moment and look at how we can use the time column to tell some things about our trace file. So in this case, we've got a trace of going out to a website, and things seem slower than they should be with this one. So what we want to do is we want to drill into some things on this trace and find out exactly what's going on. So in this case, I've selected frame number 87. So the first thing I want to do is drill in on this specific TCP conversation. I do that by right-clicking and then clicking on Follow TCP Stream. Now when I do that, it brings up this window. Now this window shows us the data that was contained in those TCP frames. So I can see what image I'm going out to get, what website I'm going out to get this image from, and what the response was coming back from the server. Now in this case, I got a message 304 which said use local copy. So in this example, the image that I had stored on my machine was as current as the image that was up on the website. So in this case, I'm going to click close to get rid of this window. Now for my time format, in this case, I've gone up and I've selected view, time display format, and seconds since previous displayed packet. Now what this does is this shows me the delta time between each one of these packets. Now the 3.651 seconds at the beginning is the number of seconds since this trace was started. Now in this case, I really don't care too much about that value. One of the values I do care about is I've sent a TCP SYN in frame 87. I receive a TCP SYN acknowledgement back in frame 169. Now this value of 0 0.197774 tells me it took 197 milliseconds to receive a TCP SYN acknowledgement back from that server. Well this gives me an idea of what the round trip delay is between my device and that server I was trying to contact. In frame 171 right here we send an HTTP GET. Now what we see is that we waited 2.972 seconds and then we retransmitted that GET. So what that tells us is either that data was lost in transit between us sending it to the server or the response was lost coming back from the server. But the key here is that we are able to quickly go in using the time since previously displayed packet and find out where those big gaps are. And the fact is, when we're trying to troubleshoot slow applications, we're looking for big gaps. This shows us that. Now, we can come in, and if I want to see the total amount of time that this transaction took, I can come up here to frame number 87, right-click on that frame, and say Set Time Reference. Now it says, do I want to switch the appropriate time format? I say yes. Now what this does is this changes that time field from the time since the previously displayed packet to the time since I set that reference frame. So now it shows me exactly how long this whole TCP connection took. So in this case, my entire TCP connection took 3.39750 seconds to complete. So I can use this to see how long an entire process took. So to change that time for column, what we do is we come down here to View, Time Display Format. We've got a number of different time settings that we can use. We can also use Time of Day. And this is useful if we want to go in and correlate a specific event in our trace with a specific event in something like a log file. I hope this helps with your troubleshooting and look forward to more videos from us. Thank you.